All right, guys, here's the Clearview goggle module. Goggle receiver. Um, this is the back of the module. We'll flip it around to the front. There you go. Fan, bumpers. It's got the connector there for going into the uh, head tracker module just for power. And that's the ribbon that connects the two uh, modules. Just wanted to show a quick view for those of you who are curious. Came nicely packaged, was insured, etc. Kind of the board layout. And this is the button that some people were kind of critical of initially when they talked about it, but this is the button. And so just you can hear kind of a little click and that'll just go on the inside of the fat shark just against the, the white paneling next to the pins there on the right. So just to the left of that, will just push on the plastic. The arrows are pointing at the part that you have to lift up very gently on either side uh, of this little connector where the ribbon cable plugs into on the main module. So what we're seeing in this uh, photo here is the ribbon cable fully inserted in the brown part of the connector. That was what was lifted vertically, uh, straight up kind of matching the axis of how that SMA connector is set up. This is now with it fully seated uh, into the black portion of the connector. This is the other side of the Clearview module that plugs into the head tracker portion of the Fat Shark goggles, which is the left module bay if you're looking at the goggles from the outside. And there's a couple of pins you'll see there's just to the right of the words Iftron Tech. The bottom of this board is where that's going to plug in. Where the ribbon cable is on the left side, uh, that blue portion there, that is facing up. So when it's installed, that'll be facing the top and it is just friction fit. There's nothing to move or slide around. You just press the cables into the connector. Just be careful not to crease that at all. Uh, it took a little bit of force. Just go slowly um, and test the goggles out uh, once you've got it fully seated. Here you can see the connector uh, installed into the left side of the Fat Shark module bay. Again, that pin header is where a head tracker would normally mount. Loud. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, we'll see how the performance is. Uh, obviously, I don't have any antennas on there yet. I was just setting everything up in the DVR. So we'll get a flight. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. All right, guys, this is the inside of the Fat Shark goggles on the left module bay. Uh, so the towards the center of the goggles, all I did was take a razor and trim very, very slim amount of plastic off of here. And then I used a file uh, to round off the edges. I did this on both the inside portion of the bay and on the outside portion so that no part of either the door or the outside of the goggles are putting any pressure on this very thin ribbon cable. I did this in lieu of opening my goggles and installing this ribbon cable on the inside of the goggles. I'd like to not void my Fat Sharks. They are brand new HD V3s. So that's what you're seeing here. Really clean, really pleased with how the doors actually do seal pretty well. Um, it's a nice click in there. <laughs>